Hey guys, MovieFan here to talk about something very serious. It's been an entire year, and we've seen a lot of horrible things. From the virus to the murder hornets. And something even worse has come during the chaos. And that's hatred. It all started with an incident that I will not talk about, because you already know what it is. And ever since then, the hatred has been growing. There have been peaceful protests, but during that time, there have been rioting in the streets, so-called anti-racists harassing people for no reason at all. Coca-Cola tried to make their employees act less white. And people like this who come forward and say that all white people are racist. So now everybody is clashing with everybody. Everybody's accusing each other of being racist. And if you don't join the movement, you're racist for not doing it. Obviously, that's a clear-cut violation of our constitutional rights. Fact is, you do have the right to not be a part of it. I'm not a part of it because I don't like rioting in the streets. Plus, I don't like spreading hate around the country. And that's exactly what's going on here. The hatred is going farther than it did back in the 60s. Because we're getting radicals like this who are spreading the hate. It also doesn't help when you get certain people saying that you can't trust white people for nothing. Especially for the COVID vaccine. Fact is, contrary to popular belief, racism is a two-way street. Racism isn't just confined to black people and Asians and Native Americans. It's also confined to white people as well. And I think we can all agree that this must be stopped. There's an old saying that fits this situation quite well, and that is, two wrongs don't make a right. What happened before this is wrong, but it's also wrong to accuse all people of being racist just because of their color. And it's also wrong to try to force people to join a movement that they don't want to be a part of. And rioting is just as wrong. Believe it or not, there have been a few times I said something like that, and I've been accused of being racist. But you know what? I'm not going to make something out of it because they don't know me. They don't know what I stand for. Fact is, I pity them. I truly pity them and their ignorance. I pity them for the fact that they become blinded by hatred, that they're accusing everyone of being racist. I pity them for the fact that they can't see that not everyone is like that. Growing up, I've had lots of friends who are gay, straight, Latino, black, white, Asian, and of course Native American. I don't think I'm better than anyone else because of my skin color, and I've certainly never thought any less of anyone else because of their skin color. Now that I've talked about the problem, what about the solution? The only solution to this problem that I can think of is to replace the hate with love. Heed the words of an old saying that all men and women are brothers and sisters. And I think we could all take a lesson from the Bible, and that is to forgive. Forgive the sins of the past and move on with our lives. Try and march towards a better future, a world of peace. Because the bottom line is, the quest for peace begins with all of us. All of us deciding to forgive, move on, and try not to incite violence and hate. And especially to silence the people who want the hatred to keep going. What we need to do is spread more peace and not so much hatred. We need less raised fists and more raised hands with a peace symbol. If you're like me and you want the hatred to end, try to heed the words that I've said today and share this video as well. Hopefully it'll help. Before I go, I want to wish everyone peace, love, and friendship. And hopefully by doing this, we can stop the hate. This is Movie Fan, signing off.